As usual, SOLIDWORKS PDM 2025 has gotten a lot of attention this year. You'll notice our first 2025 update during the PDM client install. The option to install the SOLIDWORKS electrical connector is now available. Additionally, a SOLIDWORKS electrical note has been added to the admin tool. Here you can customize the general, VOM, and file structure settings. Here is proof that enhancement requests do help improve the software. SOLIDWORKS PDM Professional can now send notifications via Gmail, Microsoft 365, and Yahoo. In the message system, you can now enable secured socket layer authentication in the SMTP email notification. New in 2025, administrators can now also track who and when their users are logging in and out of the vault. By default, PDM does not track this information, so you must enable it. Go to the vault's properties, then click on the Login, Logout, Logging operation. Then to see the logs, right mouse click the vault, select Logs, then show the Login, Logout log. As an administrator, you now have more control over the default calculated bill material views. Should the default view be indented, parts only, or top level? Should the tree view be displayed? Do you want the BOM activated? Show the selected file? As built or latest? All are choices you can configure to ensure your clients get the bill materials views they most often need without having to modify the BOM settings. The adder rename file and adder rename folder permissions have been broken out. You may grant add file folder or rename file folder separately, giving more granular control over the user's folder permissions. As you would expect, SOLIDWORKS PDM 2025 has some great client enhancements too. There's now a Command Manager tab where you can easily get the most common commands. And since there is a Command Manager, you can now customize PDM Toolbar for your most commonly used PDM commands. The Get and Get Latest dialog boxes now have an additional checkout column added, streamlining your workflow for the most common times when you intend to edit the files immediately after getting them. The new thumbnail preview is my favorite feature in the 2025 release. If a picture is worth a thousand words, your communication to those outside of engineering just got a thousand times better. In the Contains tab, two new options have been added. Open All with Thumbnails and Open Visible with Thumbnails to export your Contain tab information to Excel with little thumbnail images in each row's preview column. Similar functionality also exists in the BOM and Where Use tabs. Before SOLIDWORKS PDM 2025, you had no control over the order that your documents were displayed in in Calculated Bill of Materials. Now, when you check in an assembly for the first time, the order will match the order as it's seen in the SOLIDWORKS Feature Manager design tree. In this example, I have a new assembly that's never been checked in. Notice the order in the Feature Manager design tree does not match the order in the PDM add-in. When the assembly is checked in, the order updates both in the PDM add-in and is also the order used by the calculated bill materials. Would you like to estimate how long it takes to open your SOLIDWORKS file? SOLIDWORKS PDM 2025 has a new system variable that you can add to your Windows Explorer, listing the elapsed time it took to open the most recent checked-in version of the file. The latest version is now a system variable that can be accessed in many locations throughout the user interface. Here we see Latest Version in the Version tab, and we can quickly get the Latest Version from the Action menu. Also, here we can choose to see only revisions, 